Hello, hello, one and all. Brandon Carey is here, and we will continue our uh, investigation into the Christmas murders allegedly caused by Mr. Miles Edgeworth, our client. Um, well, when we last left off, we were on trial. Uh, we had just got back from a recess. Now that we've accused the uh, the person, the old man from the uh, the boat ha the, the boat rental shop of being the murderer. Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, Edgeworth wants to talk. He wants Edgeworth to talk. Okay. Why did you go like that night? What Brenda said was mostly correct. Especially so actually. Yes. We see the letter. The letter was signed Robert Hammond. He asked me to come to the boat shop by the lake at midnight on Christmas Eve. For something important to discuss. Gotcha. Yeah, he's recapping. This this is him kind of admitting that what we said earlier was true in the last in the beginning of the last episode. Hey, welcome. Yeah, well, he is not guilty. He's our client. He is not guilty. He is not guilty. He is not guilty. Yet. I can't say what it was. The witness has disappeared. That was fucking fast. The fucking, um... The boat shop guy is gone. Where'd he go? A search warrant has been issued. We have one more day. We gotta find this man and then nail him to the cross. Very important to this trial. I want him and I want to know who he is. Very well, court is adjourned. We can't cross-examine him because he's not here. He's got to be here for us to cross-examine him. He left. We, we, well... We did prove, however, that almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Larry really helped us out. <laughs> All, all thanks to the butts. We got saved by big butts. Hey, right, our client that we're talking in front of, Maya. It looks like you're probably going to get off the hook. Oh, that's what you mean by getting off. I'm sorry, but I fear it's not over for me yet. Right? There's something that's been troubling me for a long time now. The DL6 incident. I can tell you I get off my chest, but I can't make up my mind. He wants to be a passionate passionate lover phoenix that's what he truly wants deep down in his soul it's a nightmare i've had a nightmare where you're not sitting in bed next to me oh of a crime crime that's what i that's what i meant to say sorry completely zoned out there a memory of a murder A memory of a murder. Most foul. I mean, just waited like two seconds. We would have had a good break. A good clean break. Oh, well. Uh, couldn't have possibly known that. It's been a while since I played this game. A 
memory of a murder. You think he killed? Probably this DL6 incident. One second. Unwise vowel zero. spelled vowel wrong in his name. That's why. There we go. The fuck out of my chat. There we go. Oh, hey! Good work today, by the way. I mean, I always feel faint during a trial, but it's not for this reason. Just not for this reason. <laughs> you better than that. No. I'm not gonna do that. You didn't know him back then, back when he wanted to become a defense attorney. Wait. Yeah! Yeah, we, we forgot, let's, let's, it's time for backstory. Time for backstory. He has no memory of it. Tell me, okay, the, it was third grade, a class trial. A kid in our class got his lunch money stolen. Our school was small. Every month, kids would bring an envelope with money for lunch from home. This kid's envelope disappeared with $38 still inside it. were out of school that day. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during P.E. class, and only Phoenix Wright could not attend P.E. class that day, because he is a little weak boy. I mean, he had a cold. The kids put a class that I should be put on trial. The next day we had a class of trial with me as a defendant. Everyone bullied him. Everyone bullied him and thought he was the traitor. Big ol' meanie face. I'm not gonna play with you anymore. I can't read all this shit. I'm just- this is just teenage- this is like childhood bullying. That's all it is. You know you shouldn't steal people's money. It's not right. Even the teacher didn't believe him. I apologize, Phoenix. Didn't know what was happening. Poor kid. Poor kiddo got bullied as a teenager, like or like as a child even, not even as a teenager. That, that, that gets worse. That's where the boy whose money and his soul was sitting. That's when it happened. The only thing that belongs to a tri in a trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. You should all be ashamed. Amateurs! He was wearing a suit even back as a child. The 
you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shouting you did it, but no one has any proof. That is why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent. It's your money that was stolen. Yeah, yeah, he did it. He's the one. We don't need proof. Why don't you all just shut the fuck up? He's getting up and picking on one person. Just think how he feels. He didn't do it. What what a bunch of meanie faces. I'll replace the money myself. This class trial is over. That was that was the way it was. And they were best friends forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I forgot. Totally alone without a friend in the world. I was lucky that I took the day off from school. If I had been there, they would have thought I'd done it. Yeah. What happened? It's when I heard his father's defense attorney. I remember his eyes were shining when he talked about his daddy. Defense attorney just like my dad. A famous defense attorney. And then he became a prosecutor instead. Several years later, I heard Edward's name again in the newspaper. The headline was something like Dark Suspicions of the Demon Attorney. Fabricating evidence, making shit up. He'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Ah, that is not the edgy that you knew as a child, Larry Butts. Except, you don't know the depths of his homosexuality. The feelings he has for Phoenix right deep in his deep in inside. Although we both, uh, we all know it's a lie. He's actually asexual. He doesn't have, he, he he's not gay. He has, he's, he's ace. I'm sorry. He's, he's with, he's with my, he's with my boys. He's not with your boys. I'm so sorry. Sorry to let you all know, learn this the hard way, but, but Edgy's playing for my team, not yours. Not the straights, not the gays, he's playing for my team. So the only way he could figure out what happened to Edgeworth is by being a lawyer. Because he would have to face Edgeworth in trial. And he couldn't, he, Edgeworth couldn't back out of being a prosecutor. Whoa, that, that, that was, that was pretty like, deep, bruh. I don't remember any saying I do it for free. This, we had to save Edgeworth. We gotta find. We gotta find the edgy. We gotta find the the boat captain. surprised you're not a fan of Godot, Fang. I'm surprised you're not a fan of Godot. He drinks too- What's wrong with coffee? What's wrong with coffee? 
You look as grim as always. Class trial? What do you talk what are you talking about? No. Your lunch money was <laughs> It took it took him forever to figure remember what he was talking about. Ridiculous. Ah, ridiculous! No, that stupid bullshit baby talk, Maya. That's some that stupid baby shit talk. Oh, hey, Onyx, welcome. I didn't, I didn't think you'd be here. I thought you were working. Um, welcome to the chat. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple to a fault, even. I think you changed too much, Edgeworth. Perhaps. Why prosecute? You used to look up to your dad, your defense attorney dad. Oh, you have a shitty website that tells you your schedule. I had one of those two and I worked Best Buy. Uh, fuck those kind. Fuck, fuck those things. <laughs> What do you mean? My father was taken from me. You want me to defend criminals? Fuck that shit, bro. Yes. Oh, twist notifications. Uh, equally shitty, uh, but for a different reason. Yanni Yogi. He was. He had to be the murderer. Robert Hammond got the murderer off. The leash. Oh, I'm glad that you that at least put your schedule up in a reliable fashion. My So here's a fun story. Back when I worked Best Buy, uh the they had a website that you could log into to see what your schedule was, but not show up so you didn't have to show up to work. Just look at your schedule. Except, uh, I didn't see any updates for like three weeks. And then when I went to a meeting, they were like, uh, the sky's been down. I was like, well, was anyone going to want to tell me about that? So I just, I've just been missing shit for three weeks and no one's told me? No one called? You out of your minds? And that's how I got let go of Best Buy. Retail sucks. Fuck Best Buy. Fuck Arby's. Fuck them both. You're rescued. We all suffered oxygen deprivation. Ah, uh, so the brain couldn't remember because it was oxygen deprived. But not a sound mind due to oxygen deprivation. Oh, so it wasn't that he didn't do it. It's that... It's that he fucking was too crazy. If he did do it. <laughs> Best Buy has the meats. <laughs> oh, man. I hear Best Buy's not doing so hot these days. Which, you know, makes sense. It wasn't doing particularly well back when I worked there, and that was like seven years ago. Seven, eight years ago. I hate defense lawyers because a defense lawyer fucked my life up. I hate defense lawyers. I hate you, defense lawyer dad. He's my teacher and a man who deserves respect. He taught me all the ways to lie and cheat your way to a victory. Karma is a bitch, but we'll get to that later. We'll get that to, to, to why he's a bitch later. He's a perfectionist in all things. In court, his personal life, probably in his gym routine. 
None were left unsolved, and not one suspect was declared innocent ever. It's, it's possible some of those people were innocent. We're not sure, but it's certainly possible, says Edgeworth. Just like, run the odds, bro. It's 100% chance one of those people was not supposed to be in jail. Just run the odds, bro. To find some... Yeah, that, that's his job, is to get a guilty verdict. That's his only job as prosecutor. Find impossible to find a weakness in him. Should we disappear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. It's true, you're headed for a guilty sentence tomorrow. It's a strange situation in which I find myself, I'll admit. Now look at my badge. Fuck you. It's a good looking badge, and you know it. It's a good looking fucking attorney's badge. <laughs> when does Grossman work? Good question. I bet Edgeworth has a steel samurai flag in his office, actually. Police Department Criminal Affairs. All right. Gumshoe is... is... Not going to be coming back until he finds the boat shop man. Last thing I do, pal. I guess you better help, uh... You better help with that. <laughs> okay, that's good. I bet Edgeworth has a Blue Lives Matter flag on his own. On his lawn. But the flag says, except gumshoe, fuck that guy, his life doesn't matter. But you don't understand, Onyx, that that's that's endearment. That's that's he's being endearing to the to Gumshoe. Oh, speaking of, hey, it wasn't that long ago. It was like a day. Snap my tie in half. How does that work? You don't know who really did it. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, uh, the, the, the man with the boats. I'll have that scans on my custody by trial time tomorrow. Come what may, it's my duty to you as a police officer. Now we're gonna catch me a criminals. Pal. Someone with a fire under his ass. Eek! So no woods today? The woods are off limits to camping, and apparently the park ranger found out. He got pretty mad, knowing he go in for a while. Which means uh, that we... What... Translation... We don't have the asset for an empty campsite, so we're not going to show it to you. Oh, that'd be better go further in, though. Now that we know that Gort... Gort... You... Onyx, you missed the almost Christmas line. The best line in this entire game. You missed it, just, just so you know. But, thankfully, when the highlight comes out this week, you will be able to see it. The <laughs> steel eyesore is missing. <laughs> the hot dog stand is closed, too. Better go to the boat rental shop. That old caretaker got away. You never think that he was the murderer. 
What's Grossberg doing here? In the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you sear. There's no time for our reminiscing. Also, what the fuck's he doing here? That is true, yes. But from what I saw today's trial, Edge was to be fine, right? Right? What do you mean by that, good sir? Mm. You find anything out, come by my office at once. May be able to offer you some assistance, dear boy. What the fuck was he doing here, though? Seriously. Well, since you know, he's no one's here, we can do some pilfering. Hey, it's Parrot. So looking for some equitability here. We're looking for some parody. I can't believe he'd run off and leave this poor parody fan for himself. Let's see if we open the safe. What? Twelve twenty-eight. The the date of the DL six incident. Yeah, let's let's open and get the evidence. I'm written in very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Edgeworth. Yes, we are going to do the uh, the DLC case, and we'll have a little, well, a few words about that before we start it. But yeah, we we will go over that. Um. I, we might be able to start today. Uh, we'll see. Depends on how long it takes to get this, this case four finished. Time to read the letter. Your Miles Edgeworth. This is your last chance. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your fucking life. How to kill everything. This is okay. He he didn't burn the he didn't burn the instructions. What a fucking idiot. I can't believe. Can't believe he would just left leave the evidence here in, in the safe. following his, his, these instructions. We found a letter in... No, that comes later, Onyx. That comes this during this recording. I'm not saying it's to the people who watch this on YouTube no, don't, don't, know, don't know yet unless they played this game, which, of course, in case they obviously know. Um... I don't know, okay. You know, all the no one who watched my YouTube channel, you know. The one I do mostly is a hobby that no one actually watches. <laughs> but it's fine. I don't really care. <laughs> this letter is an amazing clue. It is a clue! It is a clue, though. Look at this authentic American Kotatsu. Sorry, Polly. Oh, you use this kitchen much. You're right.
The one that got away. <laughs> wow. I saw TV, I remember they're showing a Pink Pinch special this week. Oh. Oh, indeed. Gord Lake Pubic Beach. Uh, maybe Grossberg has something to say about... When they left Nick. I'm in time to waste. Let's get going. Maybe gross person something to say about the instructions? That no, where the fuck is he? I I didn't say anything. I I did not say anything. I didn't say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. I definitely wouldn't make a joke that crass on, on Twitch. Never. Ever in my life. Definitely have not said worse things than that. See this letter? Alright, Edgeworth. Look at- look! Look, someone wanted to fuck you up. Someone wanted to fuck you up bad. Could he be an innocent defendant you got declared guilty or something? Nice, right? Nice, nice, but no, you're a fucking idiot, of course you are. Which means there was someone else behind it. Your life. Two met me, myself, and Robert Hammond? It's your last chance. Maybe he's talking about the statute limitation of the DL6 incident. That old man. Could he be Yogi Bear? Hey, boo boo. Alright, let's talk about Mr. Oh, it's Yanni Yogi Bear. Yanni Yogi Bear. He was a bailiff at the time, 15 years ago. The quake was bad. It was a big old quake. He is gonna steal my pick and neck baskets. It was dark. We were there for so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned and darkness closed in on us in that little box. He became unsettled. You're not making this any easier. Get us out! Don't yell! Don't yell, you'll just make us all die faster! When I came to, I was in hospital bed staring up at the ceiling and everything was fucked. He claimed the oxygen deprivation and stress had caused temporary insanity. And he was found innocent. Right. There's something that's been bothering me these last few days. I, I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. I want you so badly. You mean a nightmare? A memory of a crime of murder! I think... I think that time has come to tell all. Tell me about this nightmare you've been having. Left in years I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of a dream? 
dream about my father's killing in the dark. Quiet, you're not making this any easier. You want to get out? Help, get us out. Don't shout, you'll just steal more oxygen. I can't breathe, you're using up the air. Stop breathing my air! Stop breathing my air! Picks up the pistol, throws it, and it goes off. With that scream, I wake. It's bone chilling scream. He that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. You know, something I think about a lot is that um, when Shu Takumi made this original, like when they made when they when they made the original designs for Phoenix Rice Attorney, Edgeworth was supposed to be ugly. They made Edgeworth intentionally so that he had very like set like dark bags under his eyes, and like. Very stern, very taciturn, because they wanted him. You know, they want you to not like him when you saw him. And man, that backfired. In retrospect, <laughs> I think about that a lot. That originally, Edgeworth's design was supposed to not be very appealing, but still fit in the otherwise like exaggerated portrayals of characters. Um. In this franchise. Yeah, Sad Puppy is definitely a vibe you get with, with Edgy. With Edgy Poo. Um, 